blessings again. We've come to start our day in the Word of God. We've been looking at how God sees us from Acts chapter 13 and verse 22. Let's read that verse again. It says these words. I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart who will do all my will. You know, when we look at the Word of God, we see certain characters there. We see, for example, Moses, who was called the friend of God. Here in this passage, David is a man after the heart of God. Even Christ himself, at his baptism, the heavens opened and the Father said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. What does God say about you and I? Well, the way that we can develop an intimate relationship with God, where God would look down and say, This is my Son, in whom I am well pleased, is to change our, our pattern of our life. David is our example. Most of the time here we saw that David loved to read and to be in the Word of God. And we saw that David was a man of prayer. Today we're going to look at the example of Christ because Christ is our role model. And so the first thing we'll look at, the first verse, is found in Luke chapter 5 and verse 16. Luke chapter 5 and verse 16. It's a small verse. It's a verse that perhaps we've jumped over without even knowing. It says these words. So he himself often withdrew into the wilderness to pray. Christ went aside. You know, before he made major decisions, Christ would go and spend time with his Father. You know, before uh, he chose the twelve, he went aside and spent time with his Father. You know, and, and in times of crisis, Christ would go and pray. What crisis are you facing right now? And how do you handle those crises? Well, the Word of God tells us in uh, Matthew 26, and let's just go across to Matthew 26, and here Christ uh, is about to be uh, taken into captivity and beaten and uh, persecuted. Uh, and so he, uh, in verse 36, he says this, Then Jesus came with them to a, a place called G uh, G Gethsemane and said to the disciples, sit here while I go and pray. And so he went a little further. Then he said to the disciples he took with him, he said, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful. Have you been in that situation? Have you been to the point where, you know, you thought there was no way out? Uh, in some ways, this is where Christ uh, was at this time. His soul was exceedingly sorrowful. How did he handle that? He said to his disciples, uh, You stay here while I go aside and pray. And so he, wa he went aside and prayed, and he went a little further fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. In a time of crisis, in a time, you know, at this point, Christ took your sins, Christ took my sins, and he, he paid the price. Uh, but he said, Father, if this can be stopped, stop it now. Lord, I don't want to go through the agony of carrying the sins of mankind. But he said, not my will, but 
your will be done. You know, on the cross, Christ prayed these prayers. He said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Here is Christ had been beaten. His body had been torn apart. Uh, they put crowns of thorns on his head. Uh, he was at the point of death with nails in his hands and nails in his feet uh, and blood pouring out of his body. And he looked at the crowd around about him. He looked at the soldiers and he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. And you know, even in times when we think God is not speaking to us, when we pray and we think we don't get an answer, well, even Jesus was in that same boat. We see that Jesus said, Father, Father, do not forsake me. Father, where are you at that moment on the cross? Father, Father, where are you? Do not forsake you. Many of us have prayed this kind of prayer. So, you know, Remember that Christ is always there. He will never leave you nor forsake you. No matter what trials, no matter how deep in the sea you are. You know, when the storm was coming and the disciples were there crying out, uh, you know, Christ came up and just spoke to the storm and it just disappeared. Uh, the storms of your life, when you think Christ is not there, then uh, that's the time he is there. And then the last prayer of Christ, which is found in Luke 23, 46. He says, Father, into my hands I commit my spirit. Father, there's nothing I can do. I can't change society. I can't turn situations around. Father, I'm here on the cross. You know, what cross are you bearing right now? What hardship are you going through right now? You may feel you're at the end of your road and things are difficult and circumstances surround you, but that's the time to say, you know, Father, there's nothing more that I can do. Uh, you know, I was, in 1995, I was healed of cancer. And, uh, you know, God took me in a out of my body experience. And one of the things I, I experienced in this when I tried to reach out to Christ uh, and I couldn't do it, I said, Father, there's nothing more I can do. Only you can do it. And then he reached out and touched me and healed my body. Friends, no matter what you're going through right now, Christ is your role model. Christ is your answer. If you're going through a good time, it's time to pray and rejoice and thank God for it. If you're going through some hardship, it's time to pray and give it over to God and say, God, your will be done, not my will. If you're going through the end of the road, which seems to be to you, there's no way to turn left or right. Uh, that's the time to say, Father, in my strength, I can do nothing anymore. Here it is. I give it to you. Well, this is Prophet Tom. What a joy it has been to be with you again this morning. And remember, as you go today, that Moses was called the friend of God because of the relationship that he had. David was called a man after God's own heart because of the relationship that he had. And Jesus, the Father, looked down from heaven and said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased because of the relationship he had. Let's aim to change our relationship so that God will look down upon us and say, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Go forth this day in victory. Go forth this day rejoicing. Go forth this day knowing that God is in you, around you, protecting you, loving you, comforting you. Amen. This is Prophet Tom. Have a great day.